Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical engineer and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 4 Episode 2 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. That is really, really cool. We make beer more or less the same way today. Really, the only differences are adjusting for control variables such as adjusting for control variables such as humidity in the air using clean metal containers and distillation now instead of beating the hell out of it which actually might introduce more particulates it's spun around and it goes through a more filtration process senku is making his beer outside which is so much worse than the lab i don't think beer tastes good in general i prefer bourbon which is actually way stronger He's using a clay oven and a wooden containers, which will affect the taste of the beer. The reason that you age whiskey in barrels and make it bourbon is because the charred wood will contribute to the taste of that alcohol. Beer is not usually stored in barrels like that. Usually it's stored in glass bottles or a keg, which is metal, I think aluminum specifically. The only beer I can think of that's stored in barrels are Imperial Stouts, which sounds like something Anakin would drink on Coruscant. Senku and the crew are drinking right now if the barrels were charred, Tastes like bourbon beer. That is really cool because it's specific to parts of Asia and Europe. It's not really used in the United States as often. Gum syrup is not just a sweetener either. It also changes the, the, the texture of the drink. It makes it... It tastes more velvety, if that makes any sense at all, and it'll also attenuate, or attenuate, it'll soften the taste of the alcohol in the cocktail. In the United States, we use simple syrup as a sweetener in cocktails. I've never seen gum syrup in this country. The difference is that simple syrup, as the name suggests, is literally just dissolved sugar and water. Is that what you're supposed to do with the garnish? If it was a cucumber, I either just eat it after finishing the drink, or if it was a lemon or lime, I would just put it in before drinking the beverage. I didn't... Okay, Dr. Stone just taught me something. I, I never thought to do that. You put the garnish in after you finish half the drink to change the flavor. Well, if I ever go to an anime theme bar, and I'm sure people are going to start asking them for this, I want to try it. Oh, that is so cool. I've never seen that on a pomegranate drink, but th this will work. There's a few citric fruits that have this purple, blue, violet glow under black light. Kiwis are the king of this. I, I don't know if this is common knowledge, but th they can be green under white light, blue under black light, and red under other wavelengths of UV light. Seeing this in person is really, really trippy because you can flick a light switch on and off and you can literally change the color of a fruit in real time. It still tastes delicious. Chlorophyll is a naturally occurring pigment in plants that's responsible for photosynthesis. And certain types of chlorophyll molecules can absorb the UV light and then just emit them as visible light, creating this fluorescent effect. Vitamin A is also really fluorescent. I don't even know how I know that. Whichever fruits have that though, they're likely to glow more prominently. <laughs> I knew it! The, the moment I started seeing everyone get their own mocktails, I'm just waiting for the one that's gonna show the different liquids. And it's okay, I, I also have a feeling that a lot of people know the explanation behind this one. I'm gonna pin the first comment that actually explains how this scientifically works with three different liquids are separated like that in a glass, and I'm just gonna give credit to one of you guys. <laughs> God bless Apple Maps, because sometimes I have a hard time finding places in my own city, let alone 
across an ocean. They're using an hourglass watch, a weak radio signal, and, and this! For, for, for those who remember MapQuest, it was a printable list of directions for long distance travel and you better get that thing perfectly because there's no recalculating in real time. If you miss an exit, you are recalculating. The GPS will not help you. It's a rectangular prism. I I'm not sure what the element is. He just picked it up from the side of the road, which is one hell of a find. When a ray of white light is sent into a prism, the colors will separate into their various wavelengths. Pink Floyd had an album cover that showed this perfectly. They used a triangular prism, and when the white light goes in, it separates all the other wavelengths of light, and you can see them as they're being released. After watching more of this episode, Senku did indeed reveal that the material here is calcite. I'm really not sure how he knew that, but he's Dr. Stone. Calcite is generally a part of limestone. That's what I was saying. If he found it off the side of the road, is there a cave nearby? Because that's generally where you'd find calcite. This is a very, very small detail that will not matter in the long run. I think I know which filter they used for the water. The editor used snowflakes for the particulates. It, it, it Okay, I'm gonna play it back. So now when you look at them, just imagine snowflakes. I'm 99% sure that they just used a light snowfall backdrop, which was layered over this water animation. Dick. <laughs> They actually made it! Oh my gosh! They actually got it? Wait a minute. Senku, prepare to meet Donald Trump and Elon Musk. Welcome to America. We have simple syrup. On another note, I am thinking about doing a giveaway on this channel, or multiple if it works out for the first time. I thought about Funko Pops. I'm not sure if that's even appealing anymore. It doesn't have to be Dr. Stone specific. It could really be anything. I'm always thinking of ways to add value to the viewers because you guys really are the reason this is so much fun. I get to interact in the comments and I get to like just look, the whole thing is awesome because of you guys. And as a creator, I, I, I want to know how I can give back to my audience. Let me know if Funko Pops is appealing or if there's any sort of giveaway that I could give away. What is an appealing thing that I could put up for a prize? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you all the best rest of your day.